Hello, Peter here. Do you want lighting effects like these in your mobile games? Blob shadows, dynamic lighting and moving lights? Well, you can't. But we can fake it. So follow my tutorial series and learn how to create these effects using blueprints and materials. We are going to create a complete package that you can use to bring light to your mobile games. I needed it for an Android project and to solve the problem I got inspired by Quake 3! Here they have everything that I wanted. There is a blob shadow. You see it diminishes when jumping. And they have the dynamic objects reacting to the, the lights. Look at the barrel of this gun. It takes on the lighting, the color, and also take the normals from where the light comes from. And then lastly, it also has the moving lights. Look at the wall and the explosion. This is the stuff I needed. This is the stuff we're going to build together in this tutorial. So in this tutorial series we're going to step by step going from this to this. Look, I have a blob shadow. The ball has a blob shadow, creating good ground contact. It also reacts on the lights. And amazingly, the material of that ball is unlit. We have our moving light here representing the Quake 3 demo, the rocket. But I myself am a moving light. You see it on the ground and on the wall. The player, I mean. So yeah, that's all the boxes ticked. We can't have it, but hey, we can fake it. And then we have it too. Hello, Peter here again. Just wanted to say thanks for watching this video. Please let me know what you thought of it in the comments. Below there is a link to the first video in the series and don't forget to subscribe so you are the first to know when the next episode is up. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!